Hello friends and welcome to SourceCAD tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll take a look at Hatch and Gradient tools and I'll explain them in as detailed way as possible. So let's start with the Hatch tool and for that I'll make a geometry. So geometry is something similar to this one. And uh, a circle here and a rectangle here. Let's go ahead with the Hatch tool. Here you'll find the Hatch tool. On the draw panel of home ribbon click on hatch once you click on hatch you'll find a temporary ribbon that appears here the hatch creation ribbon now go to the area and click on it click on it and the area will be selected and the default ansi 31 hatch is applied there with the point selection cursor let's say that instead of this area i want to select an entire object for example i just want to make selection of this object this rectangle so click on select and select this rectangle the complete rectangle is selected okay now let's say that i want to remove this circle from our selection so go to remove and click on this boundary and the circle is removed from our selection and the rectangle is still selected so I hope you are clear with these options including the pick point. Now I just want to again pick a point inside. Just remove this rectangle and I want to pick this point here. So go to pick points and click on points and we are done here. Now after making these selections let's change the pattern over here. Click on angle and the pattern is changed to angle. You can also change the pattern to solid and just look at this icon here once you click on solid it will change to solid since we are on pattern this one is pattern and there is another option of gradient here once you click on gradient the hatch patterns will be gradient here and you can select the gradient gradient and basically color filled hatches so I'll go ahead with the pattern now and we'll select the angle pattern we have made our selection now after the selection let's go to color go to red and the hatches will be applied with red color you can make selection of as many colors as you want using the index color true color and color books for that you need to go to select colors after this we have background color go to this option here and you can select the background of the color of your hatch so click here on the yellow and the background color is yellow now i will not apply any color to this and hence i'll select none once you select a none, the background color will be removed. Now here we have hatch transparency and angle and scale. We'll look at hatch transparency and angle in a moment. Right now we'll adjust the scale. Since our hatches looks like this, if we want to make them more spacious, either the hatches we want them to be more far apart, then click on the scale and change its scale to 2 and press enter. Now you can see that our hatches are now far apart from initial position. You can also reduce the scale. So this time I'll select 0.5 and enter. And now you can see that they are very closely spaced now. So in this way you can adjust the space according to your requirement. So I'll select this hatch scale to 2 units. Now you can see that hatches have been made in a random way. We don't know where it starts, where it ends. But if you want to specify a specific point from the where the hatch should start, we can do so using the hatch uh, select origin option. So go to set origin and now take a closer look at this point here, this end point. Now click on this end point. Now what you'll notice that this hatch is starting from this point now. Since I've selected this as a whole origin, so it will make hatches from this point towards left and it will complete this entire area so in this way you can select the origin for your hatches now i told you that we'll uh, discuss hatch transparency and angle as well so let's see these things the transparency value can be changed from 0 to 90 right now value is 0 let's change it to 60 and press enter and you'll see that these hatches are dimmed now at the transparency of 90 they will be maximum dimmed and you will see that they are almost invisible now so that is why a transparency of 100 is not there so I'll just reduce this transparency to 0 and it's not at all transparent but one thing you need to make sure while selecting this transparency that 
On this OSNAP marker, this transparency show high transparency is turned on. If you'll turn it off, then the transparency will not show on this hatch even though the transparency value is applied. So make sure this transparency on object snap marker is uh, on uh, status toggle is on. Now I'll select the transparency value to zero. Angle. Right now we have got this horizontal and vertical spaced hatch. Go to angle, change it to 45 and you'll see the resultant difference. It will change the angle from the original angle. It will measure 45 degrees anti-clockwise and it, it will apply this angle. Okay. So I think you're clear with all the tools up to this point, up to set origin. Now we'll go ahead with associative annotative and all the other options. but a little bit later so now close this hatch creation and here we have our hatch now you can again edit this hatch by clicking on this so click on hatch and the ribbon will appear again now you can edit it for example I'll change its color to green you can simply edit this thing from here now let's look at associative and non associative hatches first so I'll go to hatch select this one and make it associative and close it again go to hatch select this rectangle but this time I'll click on associative to make it non-associative I have deselected it and I'll change the color also so that it can be easily recognized now this hatch is associative this one is not associative let's see what's the difference is click on the boundary of this circle and extend its boundary the hatch extends okay this is what associative does now go to this rectangle and extend its boundary and there is no different at all so this is what a non-associative hatch is if you'll make a hatch associative it will remain associated with its boundary and if the boundary changes the hatch pattern changes Okay, I hope you are clear with the associative and non-associative hatches. So let's delete them. Now, let's, let's go to hatch again. We'll discuss annotative hatch in our second tutorial of hatch pattern. But right now, we will just leave ourselves to associative hatch option. Now, we'll discuss this option match properties at least. So click on this hatch and close it. Select this and change the color and select another hatch pattern in this case this one change this angle to zero degrees okay so we are done with these two hatches okay if you want make one more hatch if you want let's say that we want this hatch and i'll select the yellow color here this now you'll see only a single line because the scale is too large so i'll reduce the scale to 0 0.25 and you'll see the effect here now we have three different kinds of hatches if you want to apply a certain kind of hatch on this object you can do so using the match properties option so click on hatch click on match properties now select this hatch select this one and select the target area and this hatch is exactly applied on this circle as well with all its properties let's go to hatch again select match properties and this time let's say we want to apply this hatch so select it apply it to this and it, this one is applied so this is what a match property does okay so i think we are done with hatches now let's do it with gradient again so click on this small arrow and select gradient after selecting gradient you will find that the same hatch ribbon is there with a slight difference of this centered a new option and here patterns gradient so we'll be able to make a gradient here instead of a hatched pattern select the area in the similar way you have selected something like this and you can make selection of gradients from here you can select any pattern of gradient from here now after that go to color and change your color this one is the first color this one is second color so this is how you are going to change your colors I think that this might not be clear with this example so I'll just make only one selection now this is what it will going it will do 
<clears throat> now close this hatch creation and the hatch uh, and the gradient is applied let's click on gradient again and this time we'll select the circular hatch and we will apply it to the circle say the circle now once you apply it to the circle you can see the difference let's change the color okay and here is the effect you can clearly see the effect now let's click on this center and you will see that it is off centric now you can make it centric again using this option this is what it does you can again go to pattern option from this click on pattern and you are back to pattern select it and the gradient will be changed to pattern so you can go to gradient from hatch and from hatch to gradient the way you like and all the remaining options are similar the way we have discussed they will remain as it is so this was all in this tutorial of hatch creation we will see all the remaining tools of hatch creation including these options in our next tutorial thank you for watching have a nice day